map one. It's always three maps. This game ending right here, guys? Yeah, let's go to a... Let's yeah, go screw it. Let's see as he does it. Let's see if they can do it. Let's see if Anders and Moses can keep it up over on their end. Keeping the hype high is what they're good at, and we're going to let them keep it going. Well, thank you so much, Tres. Yes, and that we're absolutely ready for this one. Navi and Crazy coming up. Map number two here for the elimination match. Lenny Ooh. rushing right down the middle. Oh, they're all right here. They want to end it quick, and they're going to get a quick oh kill there. Hunter picking it up, taking down Flamey. Navi, they have no idea what hit them. The bomb now dropped on the other side. The double kill for Hunter. What a way to get this map started. Zeus and Boomage now fighting back quickly. Some strength still left in them. Oh, and no. This is... This is a standard way for this kind of a mid push and a pistol round to just get beaten up. You get all the way down there, you get all the kills you need, and there's nowhere to go from after that. The knockout punch was not as strong as Crazy thought. They had a beautiful flashbang from top banana all the way down to the top of the ramp, and now Nexa has to win a one versus two. He's got no armor. He's just looking for headshots, and they're gonna have to be really quick because any extended fight, and they're gonna double peek him. Bit of a grenade there. He's actually made his way into a better position, but it doesn't matter. Sush will take him down. A great recovery from Navi, but you're absolutely right. That that kind of uh, breakdown is kind of a classic. And it was also maybe miscommunication. Maybe it wasn't like kind of involved in the protocol of who's going to be watching underpass, but Boomich, I mean, that's an obvious way for a terrorist to just kind of pop up and try and find a couple of those kills deep mid. No one had eyes on that whatsoever. It should be a position where the T coming from that position is at a huge disadvantage, yeah. and Boomich is allowed to get a couple and safely escape. Where is he going to invest into this round? And on Inferno, I mean, they did this against the Trialers to actually the exact same thing, more or less, with three smokes that they try and sort of, you know, just cycle over at B in case someone shows up. You try and save them. I think against Astralis, they didn't, they sort of missed that mark by 10 seconds, but it's still worth trying. Deep grenades landing oh. right on top of Susan. He's, he's utterly out. gone. Yeah, he's, he's deleted. Well, you want to know how much the, the conversation shifts after that win and that performance from both of these teams on Mirage. For the better, for Crazy, for the worse, for Navi. This is a map that yesterday, going into the Astralis uh, game, their win percentage on it is, is atrocious. It's something yeah. like 15%. And, and to be able to predict them to win against Na'Vi just shows the lack of confidence after that performance on Mirage. Four players for Na'Vi at the top, and the bomb is still dropped on T-Ramp. So they can't commit quite yet. With just a minute left in the round, two smokes left on Crazy. One on Auto at the A bomb site, one on Hunter at the B bomb site. Also keep in mind, watching this yesterday, this Crazy defense, they love stacking three players over towards the B bomb site early on. Auto. Going to be falling back pretty quickly from that flashbang, although he does have a backup player there in Letney, so I kind of wish he would stay at the corner so that Letney could be helped out. Boomich going to go and check it and. Well, that was why we wanted Otto to be back there, but still, over at this B bomb site, they don't have any more smokes. So th when this smoke goes away, it's about 20 seconds. They're not going to be able to re-smoke it, but still, very limited time for Navi to get it onto the bomb site and put the bomb down. Hiding inside of that smoke is going to be Nexa. Hunter is there as well on the crossfire. Esperanto goes down. There's almost no time. Nexa, he's a genius, thinking about it, and that's the bomb down. A huge disaster. Otto, can they get the bomb in time? I think they can just barely get it. He's holding it down. It's so unbelievably close. And he he just barely gets it. That's less than half a second. Well, they get away with one, but geez, that was that. Yeah, you're, that's about as close as you can possibly get. If, I mean, if if anything else goes wrong there, if it takes them half a second longer to kill Nexa, that's it. If it takes him a quarter of a second longer for them to even realize the time was such a such an issue, such a pressing issue, he just got there just at the right moment. Otto going to be the only one left, and he's going to be content to just sit back. So. That's, just, that's about as good as you, I mean, obviously you want to win that if you're crazy, but it, looking at this round, you know, you, you do everything possible to give yourself, you know, you come within a quarter second of actually just straight up winning the round. Yeah. I, by the way, I went back and, um, I went back and watched every single successful defense that crazy had yesterday. I, I went back to the hotel and watched all of those where Nexa got multi kills on B against Astralis, and it was out of control. Oh, yeah. Like, he was such a force on that bomb side. He was a rock. I mean, he, he was playing excellent. Remember, they have those three-man stacks early on in the rounds, and the area that Astralis kind of discovered was the weakness in this crazy defense on Inferno was over towards a hulls was being able to just kind of stream out of there. There was, you know, usually just two players. They found some really, really nice timings on those hulls explosions. So yeah. if well, Navi have done their research, if they watch that game... Yeah, they, I mean, that hopefully they have, right? That would be the, a huge key to victory, you have to assume, for them here. 
That was also a ridiculous triple from Electronic. One of them threw the smoke. Um, randomly happened. Sip did the same thing yesterday. It was fun. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was something. It was something. Exactly this setup is actually what they had against Astralis. Um, with with Nexa, Auto Hunter, and Lenny, four people over here. It's the exact same setup. And they won this round against Astralis. Well, there's the dink. Boomich wants nothing to do with it. Hunter going to stick around for more fights. Nexa waiting to come through the smoke and eat a massive nade. Yeah, we, we talked about this yesterday as well. As impressive as crazy as Ben, there's a good kill from Otto. That's deep into mid. He actually just peeked down mid with a 5-7. Finds a frag on the bomb carrier. So if you're Navi now, where are you going? Right through the smoke, the P250. Can't complete the kill. Jumping in the air, dodges the bullets. They get into the B bomb site, but Zeus and Boomich are very low. There's a very real chance here for crazy. 43 seconds on the clock. Yeah, the damage really makes a difference. Electronic crossing over into the bomb site. Now has a really good angle to cover that. The flashbang to set it up. Planting the bomb and it, they can't do anything to stop it. That probably would have been one of the main things that could have given them this round crazy. It's being able to delay that bomb plan a bit longer, but now I'm not sure. Exit kills might be better, although Esperanto, that's a, that's a nice headshot. I still think it's a tough call to actually go for this. I think they're better off, like you said, exit kills, setting up. Not letting them out. There's the peek from Hunter. Actually, never mind. It all changes. All the kills are coming in. They know where Boomich is. He's so low. He's going to go down. And Crazy have done it. Wow. Somehow, it almost feels like out of nowhere. I mean, Esperanto just hitting that. Once he hits that shot in the, uh, by new box, they just think, let's go for it. Otto picks up a triple in the round. And Crazy, they come up with a win. That is, yeah, got to be frustrating for Navi for sure. How do they do now? Fourth round coming up. Orb on simple. Great work for Otto. This last one, obviously, Boomage very low on health, but... Seaside opening for simple. He should be able to find some interesting duels here. And we really want to see him back to that form that we know he has. Well, gonna put out the Molotov with a smoke. Hasn't taken a whole lot of damage. He's the only one stepped in front of this smoke. He's the only one being aggressive on the Navi side through the half wall. It's not connecting. Three players over at the A-bomb site now. Four crazy. Hunter, yeah. Otto, and Letney. And a very similar style defense that we saw yesterday where they're really far back on the map. It means they don't have any real map information. They did not like fighting for control no. in Banana or Brackets or anything like that on their CT side. Astralis was able to get everything they could have wanted. We'll see if Navi can do the same and actually uh, if they're able to also exploit it the way that Astralis did. But one of the ways at least that Zeus in the past used to exploit things was to wait until there's very little time left. There's Simple through the smoke to take down Otto. A common angle that he knew very well. Looks like they might try and split this B bomb side. Hunter is going to be going down now. They might just keep going A in that case. You already got these kills. Boomich with a beautiful double entry. And that's all you need. Now, Electronic could just wait outside. And if they want to go hunt the guns, and they can see if that's going to be an option. But I, I have to imagine that they are going to hunt the guns. They don't have a lot of money. But with the fact that it's so deep into the bomb tire, they know they've cleared A. And you know you have them boxed in because Electronic is outside. You know exactly where they can be. So you can take it slow. You can take it cautious. You can be very methodical. Still some utility to use as well. That flashbang for Hunter on Rapside was just maybe a second late. Very thin margins in this game. And Nexa pushing forward. He's going to go down. And Esperanto, the only one left in ruins. In the footsteps. Finds Boomich. Finds Flamey. Electronic going to try his luck with the CZ. He's going to go down as well, but Zeus is going to find the finishing kill. As costly as you possibly could have made it, so fair play to Esperanto. But he does eventually lose the weapon, and they will have to... I was going to say they have to save, but Lenny's got 5k, Otto's got 7,100. Yeah, tempting for them, right, to try and, and do something. Kind of remember as well on the CT side, though. I, I was going to say, it's still so early in the game, I don't know if I'd want to see a full investment, but you can drop some weapons over, and just as I say that, a, a smile creeps on my face because they're going for the full investment. So we'll see how this rolls. Otto's got the AWP, which I think might have been the de deciding factor. Hunter with the CZ, Esperanto Deagle. So an early risk for Crazy in terms of the money department. Oh! All right. Excitement all across the board. As we lead into round number five. 
Certainly a close round. Some really close rounds that have been happening so far. But this one, the the uh, the entry over at, at Archway, I mean, that's again, because the, they're so far back, right? Yeah. The, you're right. The flashbang to peek into Arch is, is a good idea, and it, it really can work out. But once you realize, oh, wait, they're coming A, you are, you know, it's really late in the in the round. Deep nades, not going to find anyone there. Boost over for the op. Really wanted to make that jump, didn't he? Yeah, it's really risky to make that jump now. Here comes the flashbang. He's going to go for the peak behind it. They've already swung wide. He's good to get one. Fortunate to get one as well, but now Esperanto has almost wants to remain aggressive. He thinks he might have fooled them, but he's got a great headshot onto Electronic, and he can back away. Nexa here as well, a four on three. I mean, they did see him jump back, right? So maybe he thought, if I just creep back in... Took, took the risk, and maybe he could catch someone off guard. Trying to throw away some of the guns here so that nobody from crazy can go and pick them up later on. It's always a good idea to do that. No reason to leave them on the ground. Plenty of time still. 55 seconds here. Hunter Aletni still being very, very defensive over on the A side. They are a man up, so it's a bit more defensible to try and play this way at this point in time. Molotov on top of Boomich, and he's just going to go straight for it. Now that leaves Esperanto alone on the bomb site. And he does need a lot of backup here. A kill would be huge, and he's going to get it. They don't even check for it. Esperanto now flashing his way into another one, and it could have easily been a double there for him. Instead, now, two on two. No, nice shot from Hunter, but he couldn't finish it. And that means Letney now. Rifle picked up, and he's going to go for the one versus two here. Yeah, but how does Simple cover him? Oh, he's just put a new bright position. He misses a shot. Uncharacteristic, and there's the follow-up. Flamey. Bails himself out, a nice headshot. Three kills in the round from Flamey. At a four to one lead for Navi, but that got close again. There was about 18 seconds. So if when Symbol misses that shot, if Flamey goes down without planting the bomb, then Symbol's got a really tough task on his hands. Yeah. This is well done from Flamey. All the entries, even getting immediately dinked by Hunter, who's going to be frustrated he wasn't able to complete that kill. Let's see if they can recover from this in early hole. I mean, this is kind of what they did at Navi in the previous map, is just dig them a hole very early on, and, and you kind of grind out to the close. Navi's got to be very happy about this start on Inferno. Hunter going to go down. And Letney also aggressive in holes. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> you? you never saw that coming, did you? No, I didn't see that coming. That was a very fast crosshair movement. He was just chilling on the balcony, wasn't he? <laughs> Having just a good trying time. Trying to enjoy the sun a little bit. <laughs> Have a coffee. Yeah, something like that. Got the slippers on, early morning robe. It's not even, not even funny, is it? Well, unfortunately, not a whole lot for Crazy to fight with. Otto, yeah, he's got a pistol. I was going to say, just saw a knife out for a long, very long time. P250 as he moves in towards Boiler. He could still wreak havoc, but Zeus checks for it. One player in the site, one player in CT arches. Deep into the site is Nexa. And even if they don't check this with the USP, there's only so much damage you can really do. If he can grab that AK-47, now he can do a lot. That is a big follow-up kill, and almost on to Simple. The Deagle from Esperanto. It was so dangerous in the previous round. Did he do it one more time? Now they're going to peek him right away. Electronic will take him down, but that almost spiraled out of control, didn't it? Some... Needlessly close rounds here, it's, it feels like for Na'Vi, but they're winning them, so it's hard to criticize at the moment. Five to one, and now there's money back in the pockets of Crazy, and they're going to be able to buy rifles. But ultimately, yeah, they, you're right, they are in a bit of a hole right now, especially in the economy front. And Na'Vi, on the T side of Inferno, you have to be very pleased you're already up to five. War cries come out as the first big purchase in some time for Crazy is here. Auto with the AWP. Three players at the B bomb site, but they're going to rotate Hunter back relatively quickly. So it's Nexa and Esperanto to hold on to Banana. And this is what really brews them is fast, aggressive plays, contact plays in halls against Astralis. Boomage is already ready and waiting behind the smoke. Yep, that was absolutely something the Danes made great use of. Auto down here, looking for that close corner. Look Actually, the, they've rotated four people back now. I was going to say, that must be something that they saw in demos or that they researched into and feel very confident putting four players 
very committed as well. Two players in the site, Letney on the balcony. Nexa is going to stay on this wrap side just in case he wants to rotate back. But the problem now for Crazy is when Nexa rotates away, who of the remaining three defenders of this A bomb site has eyes on wrap? The other problem is Esperanto has got nothing to stop anybody with except for the M4, right? He's got no smokes, no Molotovs, not even a flashbang, so... No one does. And he's so far behind that, you know, by the time he knows, it's going to be practically too late. He might have to rely on their smoke, I mean, try and challenge it and just shoot, shoot along the side of the wall, what people sometimes do. It's going to have to be a mad play like that, otherwise I don't see it working out. There's the smoke on top, but even that smoke is so late. He guesses through and does a bit of damage, but ultimately this is... I don't know. This is tricky. He's missed a couple of opportunities. There is a massive gap in that smoke. Nexa looked like he wanted to challenge it, but Esperanto's going to get close up. Can he provide any kind of an opening when this smoke fades? Both teams out of utility. Excuse me, Letney has one flashbang, but it's got to be a god flash. When does it come in? Because that smoke's fading right now, and Zeus has the intel. Esperanto stood up. There's the flashbang. Nex is up next, and no one's able to do anything with it. And again, they might just want to back away. Three players have already given up, and Nexa is going to have to fight for his life. Yeah, they probably know that he's in here, don't they? Zeus coming here on one side, Electronic on the other side. He's just trying to stay as uh, hidden as he possibly can. With the bomb being right behind him, it's going to be a little bit risky. There's a good kill, though. And now, can he make it at least a bit more expensive? Not going to be. Oh, actually, they both got with the bomb, so I guess he did. That That's something. It's something for now, but, I mean, they need to start getting rounds on the board or else none of that's going to matter. Now, the money as well for, for Navi is pretty pretty decently built up. Simple has 11,000 before the purchase. So Navi, even losing two players to the Bomb Blast at the end of the round, don't really care so much about the economic damage. Six to one in the favor of Navi. It is looking good for them right now. Crazy, I think I've made some questionable decisions, but ultimately Navi is starting to come a little bit more alive here. Obviously the final map would be Nuke, which I mean, in itself is just wild. Grenade landing on Zeus. He actually died to a double nade from here last time. Otto will open up, and that's all the way up in apartments at A. That's great for Crazy to have that opening kill alleviate some of the pressure on you. Esperanto is still playing spawn side. This time, at least for the moment, Nexa has a... Uh, well, he just used the smoke. Looks like they can try and boost, boost to sort of preempt the, the actual execute that's coming out. They have I'm, three people here. Yeah, well, I imagine Hunter is going to stick around and drop that smoke when this one fades, and then he can choose to rotate back. Or, uh, as you see, four players here. Maybe they feel the pressure. Maybe there's some kind of presence that gives away the game. Electronic just looking for anyone to peek into this crosshair. Almost getting a Nexus on the other side. He's He's got the right idea, too. He's got his crosshair right on his head, and that's going to be the damage. Now the peek comes in from Flamey in front instead. The boost, not quite ready for it. And Simple goes down to Hunter, flanking in from the coffins. 35 seconds here. Esperanto, electronic planting on the other side. Can he stop him? He's got almost the light, right line up, but not quite. And the bomb will go down. That would have been the round. Well, now we get a, a treat. Zeus with the AWP in a two versus three to defend this B bomb site. Smoke comes out to allow them to get into the bomb wow. site, and that's actually the worst case scenario for Navi. Both players on the wrong side of the smoke, but Crazy still has to be patient, so the smoke right, might run out. Esperanto has the only kit. It's gonna be a guessing game as well if the smoke stays up for just a second longer, just shooting through the grenade on top. It's a great idea, they're not defusing right now. Almost down, they line up, and then they it, and then Seuss to follow it. That was so good. Seven to one, Navi taking quick steps now to trying to get that third map. 7-1, that's a pretty big lead being T-side. It really is, and uh, you, you can see already there's not really a great... You're not really seeing any kind of uh, ability for Crazy to, to respond in this scenario. Navi's just beating them up every which way. 10 kills on Electronic, already putting together a solid series after just two maps, or a map and a half. Yeah, he is. He's doing everything he can at the moment, isn't he? I, I don't even know what Nuke would be like, honestly. We're seeing a lot of different maps out of Crazy, like they, I mean... Yeah, for a team that we would you would imagine wouldn't have the deepest map pool at this level of play, yeah. we're, we're seeing them play quite a few. They really tried to, to block all the bullets there, to try to sort of see if they could do something, but didn't quite work out that way. 
Auto shotgun being picked up by Letney. Yeah, the trouble is, we've seen it a couple times, it's the utility that really comes into play in the late stages of the round, where Navi does eventually pick a bomb site. Smokes have already been used, there's not a whole lot of Molotovs. That yeah. time it was just, you know, I, I can't remember who it was that got the entry for Navi coming through the smoke at the B bomb site, but realizes that they're shooting at the boost and likely he's not going to be prepared for the come through. Very quickly at top banana. And Flamey wants to challenge early. Well, three people here, two of them are boosted up, and Esperanto will get that first kill. Hunter's boosted on the other side, and actually the three-man B early is another feature of this defense that we saw a lot against the Trialers, which I'm not sure if they if they knew 100%. They had, I think, a couple of rounds where they tried to exploit it. I think, the because it's kind of, it's not the unique thing to put three players this, at B at the start of the round. What's unique about it is how committed Crazy is to it throughout the rounds. We saw yeah. without any information, without any noise being made, they would keep three players there sometimes for 45 seconds to a minute. Otto's going to get the second kill. Slowly whittling down this Navi attack as the round gets deeper and deeper. But, uh, that's a good crosshair placement. And go for a peek there, Otto. <laughs> Nearly got that one too. And that leaves Electronic and Seuss, two versus three. How did they make it out? I don't think there is a way to make this out, unless there's a mistake. Unless someone from Crazy really, really messes up. There shouldn't be any problems for them to win this. Zeus gonna get aggressive, the shotgun keeping him at bay and finishing him off. Long range, and he'll be able to transfer that to an AWP. So finally, Crazy is back on the board after five rounds in a row for Navi. They get their second. I mean, it's not too late to get back in the game, but but it's right on the edge, you know. Surely, if they can if they can put together a good little streak of their own here, then they can still be stay competitive. And timeout being called here. I think Navi's going to talk over exactly how they want to play this. They've got a lot of money on Simple, but everyone else is, you know, just just on the edge of being able to put a, a solid buy out there. So they need to talk things over if they want to risk it all here or if they want to go for a half buy and save up for the next round, whatever it might be. Maybe Simple gets an AK and the rest have pistols. Still, this is, I mean, if you, you know, I kind of called the map one like a, almost a statement game from Crazy. That was like a, a big, like, we're here and we're, we're not going to be afraid to actually, to, you know, yeah. to fight you. Um, this is equally a statement from Navi, who looked missing on map one to a degree. Yeah, they really did. Electronic certainly showed up. Simple's got two kills still. I mean, he, he wasn't missing on, on the first map at all, but still, it's a little bit unusual. Tech Nines, though, in play. That's an Inferno classic. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a... We do love to see it, though. There's a couple players who still pick them up. I saw Nitro use it on their Dust 2 game against Mouse Sports. I appreciate that. I actually, I seem to, I saw some pistol statistic that said that Tech Nine was picked more than the dualies. That made me happy. Well, you know, some people guess the players just haven't fully adapted to the to the meta yet. Yeah, that must be what it is. You know, those players that are a bit stubborn and changing their ways. It took them a while to pick up the AUG and the Krieg. Dualies are next. Yeah, that's a that's a bold prediction. <laughs> well, this is also. A classic. We're going to have a lot of bodies. There's a flashbang up towards top banana, but that's not going to pull anyone away. Four defenders at the safe bomb site. Flamey waiting in towards halls. Electronic, simple, and boomage, it looks like, to make the run up mid. Could work out. This Are they going to try and go to B? Electronic just ran back towards B. Now he's running back to mid. Somebody also failed a mullet, or sorry, a smoke towards the hay cart there. So Letney is going to be able to easily peek out of the pit. Otto is just shutting everybody down at this point, isn't he? Yeah, that hit didn't look as cool as it might have, uh, as it felt like it was going to when you have all those set smokes. Electronic 16 HP falls in the end. Third round for Crazy. Crowd's very excited. Yeah, 7-3, to three, that is a lot better than it was uh, just a couple of rounds ago. And you know, again, if they can get up to, to, you know, like six, seven, even eight rounds, I mean, I think that's six rounds you have you have a foundation you can build on, right? You could you can win the pistol, you can go on to do something else. I think the problem is when, you, when you're down this low, it's just hard to imagine any kind of a comeback. So I think they're still just fighting to create that foundation now. Hunter's going to be running down middle with the backup of Otto right behind him. 
and just lump himself into that corner. There are four people coming in second mid. That's going to be very hard. I don't think Hunter can actually do this easily. Boomich going to go and check that angle, and he's going to win it no problem. They do get the return kill, but that's such an overcommitment. Yeah, it really is. And now look, Letney is so isolated here. They know exactly where he is. And actually, I like this from Navi. Attacking Rapside. Esperanto had not planted his feet yet. He wasn't really ready for the action. An inside pit. It's Letney. And that's awkward for him as well. Navi just overrun the crazy defense. A fast-paced round. And Nexa is left in a one versus three. But an unrealistic one versus three. Yeah, you would have to be just very optimistic, wouldn't you, to try and, uh, try and believe he could win this. Electronic gets another triple. Navi get an eighth round on the board. And they'll take that all day. Like, Otto, you're, you're right. That is a very big overcommitment. And I'm not sure, uh, you know, must maybe a little bit of pressure. And obviously we saw some, some mistakes out of them yesterday with kind of the pressure of the Astral skin, the implications of what this match means. But, you know, you just found the equalizing kill. You just got to pick down middle. Yes. It was a four on four. You have no need to be that committed. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's real good. Round number 12, though. An auto, no armor on him. Again, the grenades all the time low for crazy. Navi surely enjoying this state of affairs. If they yeah. can win this round, then all the money's gone. I think that's where Navi sort of kick it into hyperdrive. Well, it also goes back to that decision we mentioned about Crazy really on early on to go for that that force buy. I think it was like one three or something like that when they were down. And I I can't recall the last time I've I've seen them have like every every nade on the CT side, which is so critical to a defense. And it makes it makes the game so much easier for Navi when you don't have to go up up against you know five Molotovs and five smokes. These choke points become much easier to manage, much easier to attack. Especially for a team like Navi that already like to be a bit slow, right? Right, they do like to extend these rounds unless given, the, you know, the opportunity. And again, a complete lack of information on what's happening on the map here for Crazy. That's the other thing. Actually, normally if you don't have grenades, you might be tempted to say, okay, fine, we don't have a lot of grenades, so let's try and... Let's try and see if we can, you know, force a fight at Banana, maybe like bottom of Banana. We get a kill, then we run back. Then we, then at least we, even if we don't have grenades, still we have a four on five, so maybe it's a bit better. And this, this really speaks to the playbook as well for for Crazy that isn't isn't quite deep yet in this team's you know lifespan. Considering these setups are very similar every single time, outside yeah. of maybe that mid push and the auto peak down mid, we haven't seen a whole lot of different different setups. Let me get one. So does Hunter, but now that they're a lot of action going back and forth, and Letney staying alive in pit. It's just simple, but he's got time to find this kill and find himself a one-on-two. The quick scope does not connect, and he gets no chance to clutch that out. That's a solid defense from, Hunt, uh, from Hunter and Letney there. Good crossfire. Didn't catch the first grenade in, but usually one of the, one of the first two flashbangs there is going to be really critical if you want to get out of abs like that. And I don't think, you know, apparently one of them at least wasn't quite good enough. So, yeah, we get, so Letney gets one kill before Ooh. the flashbang. Then he gets back around the wall where they can't really flash him any longer. I think that first kill he got onto Electronic as well also stopped the Molotov coming into his position. So yeah. he wasn't really under pressure. He was never burning, didn't have to use a smoke or anything like that. So he was allowed to have, you know, free vision. Great stuff, though. A lot of talking going on there. Four to eight, the score line. And, yeah, I mean, I st again, I still think it's recoverable for Crazy. I don't think that this means at all that they're out of this map. It's just that, again, I think get it, getting up to six probably is going to be necessary, I would say. Yeah, you need to have a, a bit of a buffer for yourself uh, in terms of that second half switching things over. I mean, yesterday on Inferno, Crazy only managed three rounds on their T side against Astralis. So, I mean, no matter which way you look at it, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to come back and take this take this map away from Navi. This might be a good starting point, though, and actually they've done a pretty decent job of at, at least kind of recovering in this game, in a sense. They've won three of the last four, so you've given yourself a chance to close yeah. out this half in a strong fashion and see what, see what happens in the next. Pop flash peak. Letney only gets the one, but he's brought Simple down very low, and actually they're never going to expect Hunter to be here. There's no way they expect Hunter to be here. First headshot is his, and he can back away. Molotov is really going to be the checkmate onto this strategy, and Navi have to back away. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, no. They're not all rotating, are they? 
I don't know, Hunter's almost, almost giving that up. But he is just in every way such a good player. Checking that corner probably made a big difference there. Three, oh sorry, four versus two. A simple and electronic got the last two left. But as you said, simple already very low on health. And it would take something quite miraculous for them to be able to win this round. Swapping out some weapons. Simple going to throw the one smoke he has. Electronic to lead the way with the Krieg, but yeah, two defenders here, Esperanto and Nexa, and that's pretty much a straight on crossfire. Going to be very, very difficult. And Nexa can just delay as long as he'd like. Molotov comes out. That's going to prevent Simple from getting into the bomb site. The time is going to be a factor as well. Huge kill from Electronic. Yeah, that is so smart. They just gambled everything on nobody coming through the smoke. I mean, they can't really do everything when there's only two people left. 13 seconds here. The bomb. Oh, no. That is such a good kill for Esperanto. And the whole attempt cancelled, shooting through the coffins. Hunter with the triple overall, and Crazy winning a fifth round. That was that was beginning to look like a fun attempt there for Navi. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, the entry from Electronic, I thought, was, was going to seal it, but great spam from Esperanto. Thought that was at least going to let them get the plant, maybe one more kill in a, in a scenario afterwards. Good defense from Hunter. Getting aggressive and switching into the same position. Letney was in to confuse Navi's attack. Eight to five. Three-round lead for Navi as this first half is uh, coming to a close. I need to get seven rounds right now on the crazy side. That that might actually be a little bit of a cause of celebration for them. Even if it isn't like the perfect scoreline overall, it's still, considering where they could have been, going to be looking pretty good, isn't it? It was a 7-1 to one run for Navi to start the game. Yeah. I mean, it'd be a seven to one run to, uh, or six to one, I guess, to close out the game, if you're crazy. Yeah, you're gonna be ha happy about that, aren't you? Simple, hoping to entry with the deagle in middle. All he's found so far is a grenade. This is where this passive defense that Crazy has enjoyed playing is actually probably benefited, in the sense that no one is really in a, in a whole lot of danger of getting picked off. Even next, are going to use the smoke to slow things down. Bomb is down in the pit at the base of mid, and actually Simple's been spotted right around the edge of the smoke. Hunter grabs that. Wanted the information, and he finds it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. They, they haven't really been very aggressive. There's been some rounds where they've been trying to do it, and they, they did that against Astralis too, where they sort of they try to push down middle every once in a while, but mainly it is a very similar setup for the defense. Hunter doing a fine job, and Otto is there to help him out. Just electronic left. We'll find the battle there. They're going to be able to save the AWP though on the CT side. And six to eight now as we lead into round number 15. Things starting to just look slight, slight bit better here for Crazy. Well, they've been able to, to get those Molotovs. And as we mentioned, they've, they've been able to have all the utility in these past, you know, four or five rounds. It, it just took them to get there. And that's the problem. It took them so long to finally get to a point where they could consistently have all their utility due to some early economic gambles. Six to eight, recovering in any way they can. Nexa only with four kills in this map. Electronic still on fire, 16 and 10 for him. Well, can he do it one more time here in this round to get him get his team a ninth round? All little details matter again. This is an elimination game. If they screw this up, Navi, on the second map here, if they let Crazy back in the game, get seven rounds, and maybe doing the pistol in the second half as well, suddenly, it can all spiral out of control and you just don't make it to the playoffs. Grenade actually lands right on top of him. That's not bad at all. Otto here, ready for the fight. In case they peek him, Flame is certainly thinking about it. And he does do it. Electronic goes down, but they're going to avoid the orb at least. And actually, a lot of damage onto Otto. A great amount of damage, which is kind of scary considering he's one of two defenders in Latin. He's all on his own. He's going to smoke with here. He's got to be careful about Boiler. He just wants to get back in the bomb so he realizes he can't make it. That's an incredible lineup. An incredible triple kill. Latin delivering in spades here in this final round of the first half. And it's just Zeus. One versus five. Heroic stand for Latin before he goes down. But Zeus has four players slowly encroaching and surrounding him, and that's going to be the end of the first half. Seven to eight in the favor of Navi. That's so cool. They were looking into the corner because that's where they saw the Molotov came from, and then he just moved out behind the pillar. Very, very interesting. Let's see how this goes in the second half. That's going to be coming up.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Navi and Crazy here. Second half, second map, an elimination game at the Major. The last one that we have, in fact. The last spot being played for right now. And everything is on the line. Crazy took the first map on Mirage, and they did it just in a fantastic style. Now, it feels like they've calmed down a little bit. They've made a couple of mistakes on this map. They haven't changed their style much from when they were playing Astralis yesterday on the very same map. And Navi are starting to look a little bit better. So... Overall, it feels like Navi could definitely take this map, but I don't want to call it yet. I think I think a lot could change when the when the halves change here, and we'll just have to see. Maybe the key right now for Crazy is avoid electronic, find out where he plays, go somewhere else. Yeah, he's playing so well in this series thus far in this in this map and a half that we've seen. Simple at three and eleven after the first half is a worrying sign for Navi, but you'd expect on the CT side things would be much easier for him to get involved with the AWP. A lot of different places, a lot of different rotations you can do. And you're going to have to hope if you're crazy, you got to bring back some of that like really, really aggressive, fun, fragging and trading style that they had against Astralis. I think a lot of this kind of struggle on this map isn't them cooling off. I think it's more so this is just not a comfort map for them. They, yeah. They, you know, like, this, isn't, this isn't a great one for them, despite the close match against Astralis yesterday. It could be that that's exactly what we're seeing. Now we've got some smokes, a Molotov on crazy. Only flashbangs there on Navi. Seuss has got the kit picked up. Electronic is alone in the pit while they're pushing down Banana. This is a very interesting and I would say high risk play. Electronic, I don't think they're going to get back to him in time. He's going to have to do this all on his own with the USP. They're flanking from the side. He's flashed already. Next, they're getting close. The bomb is down. Electronic, that's a godlike kill. Can he get even more? He's already bought so much time. Oh my god! Taking down Letney. How is it possible? He might have done enough. But no, they just rush in behind Esperanto and Hunter. Crushing the life out of this round for Na'Vi. If I'm electronic, I'm going to be so upset. He did way more than anybody could have expected. And now Flamey is in a one versus three. The bomb is down. I'm not even sure where that kid is. Oh, it's right in front of him. So he could probably go and pick that up, but not going to get a chance. Hunter with a triple instead. Man, he set that up for his team. I, I mean, if there's... That's, that's a huge... Almost mistake from Crazy. The bomb being the only person jumping into pit to clear that. That could have been a disaster. If there's one more Navi defender with Electronic after those two kills he gets, that's a very tough win. They had to come over him. And yeah, the rest of Navi, you can see how desperate. They knew exactly what was happening. That they had to come try and help him. And had to come through that smoke with no real intel. Oh, and they he, get slaughtered. They even show the reaction of, of uh, Electronic. Yeah, it hurts. I, I feel for you so badly, Electronic. I know. I... It's I, like he just got an instant mi migraine. Yeah, I I agree. Like, Ooh. oh, bless it all. The, what's happening? <laughs> Say his name three times in a mirror. Comes and wrecks your face of the scout. That is exactly right. They should do a remake of Candyman at some point. With simple. Yeah, with simple. <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's a golden idea for anyone out there. Well, Hunter's just waiting in mid and. Yeah, well, this could be a huge backstab. Yeah, you're you're exactly right. Electronic in this in this series is just not willing to give it up. This is a massive flank. I don't think Crazy's going to have any idea. The question is, can it, can it come in in time? Because they're already starting to move up mid, and actually, Boomich is rotating away. They're doing oh. a gamble towards the B bomb site, okay. but. If Electronic turns this corner and gets the information, which he might, they're taking their sweet time getting up mid. Yeah, he's got to see everything. Sees three. Oh, he shoots very early. Gets that dink, and the MAC-10's not going to help you whatsoever. Oh, it's very hard to know. I, I don't know. If he snipes somebody away, maybe that's all worth it. Now they're all rotating on that information, and it's all got very awkward, hasn't it? Yeah, but, I mean, at the same time... If I don't know what you would have done differently, necessarily. Flaming going to be going down... I guess this is actually a smart move for Crazy. Like, after all of that madness a bit about being shot in the back, they sort of slow it down a lot. They go check Banana, right. but they don't just panic. That's the thing, because you know if someone's flanking like that, there's there's likely a stack, and I think that had to have been the reason they called back towards A, because, you know, I, I just don't think you see a stack too frequently at the A bomb site, and then someone pushed the A hulls to wrap around you. So I think Crazy just kind of uh, took, a, took a shot in the dark, and it worked out for him. They did, but I mean... Uh, Again, I think it's it's nice to see that they're able to to calm everybody down at that point in time because it's one of those moments where easily, easily someone just, you know, gets a little bit too panicked and and more people start dying. They didn't let that happen. Now it's a four on three instead. And um, obviously just saving the rifles on the other side of the map on Navi. So they're going to be able to save the scout, but not really much else. So 
This now, is now the lead being taken by Crazy. And it's also three of four pistol rounds won by them in this series so far. So much improved from yesterday in their pistol work. All right. I think I can guess who uh, who the crowd is with at the moment, the people that are here. I, the, uh, I would imagine that's the Go Crazy CEO or it, from the organization. It very well could be. The Crazy uh, Finnish fans have uh, abandoned us today. Yeah, I'm the, kind of sad about that. The group of Waldos. Do you think they might be recovering? Is it possible? I would imagine. I don't know. It depends. You know, I would have had to recover. They were. They started drinking early. They did stop that drinking early. It was a long early. marathon day of drinking and doing the wave and cheering for Ents, even though Ents had already qualified. Listen, that's th that's that's what you need to do. Just make sure they absolutely feel it, you know, <laughs> still aboard. Yeah, you still got to appreciate it. I'm excited for it. I hope those people are going to be in the uh, in the arena when we get into the. I'm stadium. sure they will be. I'm I'm going to be looking for those shirts. That's that's going to be one of the the things I actually look forward to did now. Did you notice Alex was actually wearing the st same shirt as them yesterday? Machine, except they, his was vertical stripes. Theirs were horizontal. Oh, all right. Yep. I did not notice that. That was his. Was it yesterday's birthday? It was Alex? Yesterday was his birthday. Yeah. He's so young, isn't he, as well? Yes. I, yeah. Actually, I'm not even sure. It's 26. I think young, it? something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we love him anyway. <laughs> Nine to eight, and the 18th round now commencing here. We've got some a lot of smokes, in fact, on Navi side. So this is a this is a great opportunity right now for Crazy to make a big mistake if they if they wait <laughs> for a long time and let those smokes come into play. That's that would be sort of a, a classic uh, mistake to be making on T side here. Here's your chance, guys. Yeah. If you're ever looking for a time to make a massive mistake, this is the one. And and you can see that mistake building already if they are not aggressive enough early on. Because if you're aggressive, you're forcing the CT to do the smoke. But if you if you're slow about it, they can wait. Simple here. He's gonna be just checking the first corner. That's some damage on Letney, and that that's all good. Now they don't have to use the smoke. So for a while at least, Zeus will go down, but. That's still pretty much worth it. And Flamey does not currently have a smoke either. I don't know if there's one in there. I think they must have had more. Is it that the one on the floor there? I think so. It looked like that was the one on the ground. Zeus had oh. it. Goes for that peak. Flamey would love to pick it up. A bit nervous. Meanwhile, over towards the A bomb site, Nexa with a bomb and Hunter. Wrapping around A. That smoke will slow them down, but they can either hit pause, they can go attack the B bomb site. but I think at the moment they're content to stop any rotations from coming in using the range of these AK-47s, and they'll re-aggress in about 10 seconds when that smoke fades. Yeah. But actually, as I say that, Otto just backs off and heads towards the B bomb site, and Flamey is going to be a free kill. Nice shot from Hunter. It's all on simple. One last obstacle. Yeah, a huge one, at least most of the time. He's got the scout, though, so that, that does sort of work against him. He's going to turn around, still scoped up. He needed that instant headshot. And that was not going to happen, so bomb site's all clear. Nine seconds here as the bomb is going to be going down. And that's now, yeah, just looking for a couple of more kills here towards the end, if it is possible at all. It looks great for Electronic. Goodbye. Look at Boomich. He's going to pop up again. He might catch Otto looking the wrong way. Oh, there's the footsteps. Otto's ready for it. I think, actually, that's one AK. I think Otto's running up to grab the AK-47, I would imagine. But, yeah, the Electronic's going to go down, so... Actually, Crazy do end up losing one rifle in... No, actually, Otto gets it right at the end. Nice, nice grab. Quick enough. Yeah, fair play. He's Good got job. some wheels. 10 to 8, Moses. There's six rounds away from making that playoffs. That, this, that The story, I mean, that's been building for this team has been just amazing. And to do it on a map like this, which hasn't been great for them, would be incredible. Yeah, even that, it's, you know, percentage-wise, not looking good overall. Hunter is at it again. With 21 kills, overtaken even Electronic at this point. So, yeah, well, we talked about it a lot already. And there's a good reason why. Deep grenades being thrown in from the Navi side, trying to put some pressure on and deny that banana control. And they have a lot of people shuffling about in CT spawn. That's making me exceedingly nervous. It's actually, slight panic, a little they sweat have, on my forehead. Well, they had no one in the A bomb site. Look at this explosion. It's almost like Crazy wants to do the Astralis, and that nade slows him down, but no one in the bomb site from Navi is ready. They've somehow not lost anyone until just now. Again, only simple. What a great flick, but there's nothing more you can do. And coming through the smoke, once again, like pistol round. Crazy, find a timing and lock Navi out of the bomb site. Man, if at any point in the future you guys ever want to try and play musical chairs in CT spawn, just don't do that. It's a horrible idea. It always sounds like a fun game. It it's never, a, never ends well. It sounds great, but when someone's trying to bomb the A bomb side, that's then all the fun stops. You know, 
Well, even Zeus gonna go down right at the end. Auto on the hunt. It's not the whole team. But now they have the intel that Navi called the save. Flamey's gonna give up his position. Takes that kill, falls back into T-spawn. Esperanto is too low on HP, though. Yeah, he doesn't really have the, 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 the health to try and hunt for it, does he? He can maybe spot the feet here if he comes out a bit too far. It's, he's thinking about it, and that's it. Health or not, triple for Esperanto, and that's going to be a round for Crazy and a huge one. Listen, maybe that is the Counter-Strike version of musical chairs. You, you have to run around and, like, you know, you can't sit down until you hear the bomb being planted, and then you go. Then you have to find your, your seat. That's it's like it. a good nightmare retake server. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what Navi were just doing. Why were they all in CT spawn running back and forth? It did It did look a bit confused about maybe where they wanted the op on simple to go. Either way, it's it's an absolute catastrophe at the end of the day. 11 to 8 in the favor of Crazy on this T side of Inferno. Four in a row to start this second half. And if you're Navi, you've lost map one. You're five rounds away from being eliminated from the major in a spectacular upset. And tough. Ooh. Absolutely close line. I, I don't know why he was so aggressive, though, with Nexa coming up in towards Halls. Yeah. He could have waited very much to regroup, and even Nexa, not even considering the stairs is a point of danger, very lucky that Boomich didn't stick around for more fights. This is where you really you don't want to be making any mistakes at all. You have the lead, you have the economy, quite a bit of it, building. Don't let Navi back in this game. Who knows what would happen on a third map, especially it being Nuke. A lot of smokes being put down all oh. across the board here at the B-bomb site, and Zeus nearly drops. I think that was two smokes thrown by uh, by Crazy towards CT spawn, so that's not great. That's going to help give numbers over to Navi, but also there's I mean, those are just two smokes that are wasted because one is put in the choke point by the defense, and they don't want to go through that. Now you're going back to the A-bomb site. Electronic in the pit, and Boomich has that recovered AK-47. I was going to say that AK could be huge. They, and, and that smoke funnels it towards him. Look at the off angle as well. He's just lined up for it. There's a team kill in that, but Letney will continue the spray to take him down. And now Electronic is just waiting. And they don't have a lot of time to think about checking anything. He's got 20 seconds here, so they might just have to go straight for the bomb plant immediately. Can he do anything to stop it? Letney all the way in the corner. Zeus going down, and they spot for Electronic. They know. Nexa up on the graveyard. That's great defense. And now. Can they do anything at all? Two on two. The smoke is going to be going up. Actually, Flamey gets a headshot. It wasn't a smoke. It was a flashbang instead. And Ledney goes down. A great retake here for now, V. And a lot of chaos in this round for Crazy. Uh, that's going to be one they look at if they end up losing this map, Crazy. When they go back after this major and look at it, they're, they're, that's going to be the round that they really, really still feel the hurt of. Yeah. Losing the player in holes far too early. Overextension from Hunter without his teammate to clear holes. So 11 to 9, Navi by themselves a lifeline. And the upgraded weaponry going to massively boost the economy of the defense to help them buy more into the future. And yeah, this is so close to a double kill. And that might have just shut the round down before they even get into the site. It sort of was a double kill. Just... Fair point. You know. I'll concede that. All right. Yeah. I'm not trying to be one of those sticklers, you know. Just technically. No, it's... I'm, you held me, held me responsible for that. 21st round. And uh, no orbs in play, I guess, kind of a reflection of the economy overall. Oh, they're going back to the Hall's explosion. Uh, they are. Yeah, they use that. They use a smoke. They just put out a Molotov to make Navi think that they were sticking around in Banana. Here we go, but Electronic, the top player for Navi, is here. Yes, he is. And he's getting, getting set, set up for that kill easily. There's no flashbang. It's usually, you throw that from the middle, but they never even did it. Maybe they wanted to peek in, but still, that's a massive risk, and you can see why. Maybe they were baited into thinking that was going to be easy just due to the fact the last time they ran the strategy, Navi was, as you said, playing musical chairs in CT spawn for a bit, so they had a well easier time of things. Yeah, it's hard to know. I'm really puzzled now. Well, the puzzle is what do they do from here? The, the tough part is... Because of that emphasis, Flamey's pushed out a B, and he has all the intel that no one is in Banana, so four players now defending A. I think Lenny saw that, but it doesn't matter. Zeus with a bit of an awkward re -peak. Not going to be able to get out. Still three men inside of the A-bomb side. Electronic being one down in the pit, and he's a very strong pit player. Always has been. Otto getting very close to that haycart. Going to try and see if he can flash into any kind of a kill. Electronic will take him down with the bomb as well. Another triple here for Electronic, and Esperanto's going to drop a quad kill now. 
He is still so good in this position, 23 overall. He's he's a beast, and I think we've kind of we kind of slept on uh, on how good of a player he is in that pit position because we've had so many great examples of it recently. Twists on Liquid, obviously Magus, on Astralis. Those guys have taken kind of the yeah. mantle of being one of the best player or the best players in the world at this position. And Electronic is spectacular as well. One round closer, just one round away as well. Navi 10, Crazy 11. And the, the really, really difficult thing now for Crazy is as they were running up that score, the whole time they had the money control. Yeah. They were on top of things. And then you add in the fact that Navi just won that half buy. They got some free upgrades to weaponry. Now they've strung a second round in there. All that economic advantage that the T side was holding onto is gone. They're going to have to fight tooth and nail and, and grind this one out the old fashioned way. It's going to be even trickier if they lose this next one because then their own economy is broken and Navi will have, well, whatever they want, basically. So, yeah, this... If they want to stop the madness, if they want to stop the the return into the game here for Navi, then now is the time to do it because it's going to get progressively worse. Boomich, Electronics, Simple, Flamey cheating over. Zeus really far back even over at that B bomb site with a single smoke. They are... Putting a lot of uh, emphasis on this A-bombside defense. More than maybe you would hope, but it seems to have been the right call. Flamey is going to get isolated, but Simple's here at the corner with the flashbang. They're all blonde. He holds the trigger. Couldn't get two, but he's done massive damage. Hunter at 42, Otto at 28. One more flashbang over towards Pit. It's a double Pit setup, Boomich and Electronic. This is going to be so hard to crack open. It might not even be possible. Electronic is playing lights out Counter-Strike. And he can just wait and be patient. He's doing everything right now. Otto finally takes him down, but it's still a 2-1-2. Two two. Hunter, who's been kind of the main man here for Crazy on Inferno, and it's going to be him and Otto to close out the round. Otto with a quad kill, in fact. Kind of silently sneaking into the round, and that's going to disrupt that streak from Na'Vi. We're about to uh, string a third round in there, but didn't really work out. No, that's tough. That's tough for Na'Vi. They had the perfect setup. Four players at the A bomb site. You had two players in pit. Yeah. What a round for Otto to come alive. It's Hunter at 22 and 13. Otto at 20 and 12. For Navi, it's Electronic at 25. And the next closest Whoa. is Zeus at 13. That's a drop-off, isn't it? It's a big drop-off. At least comparatively. Simple looked like he was about to shut that round down himself. But this is... Good showing for Otto. Well, Finnish player that's found his way into this team. It's exciting, isn't it? It's it's kind of I'm not gonna lie, it, it's a little weird when I look at the flags and then there's just like a random Finnish player for no for no reason, other than the fact that he's actually incredible at the game, obviously, but yeah, it's just, just an interesting lineup to see. We've got a couple of I mean Lopez all the way back in the day sent that trend, didn't he go into America playing? So some some of the Finnish players just like to escape, don't they? Go elsewhere. Well, if Crazy wants to f cause this upset, this is one of those all-important rounds that can give you a great chance to do it. No money is left on the Navi defense. And they're also going to have to consider that even if they just get into a bomb site quickly and efficiently, there's going to be a very early save call. And Crazy have changed things up. They've adapted their T-side. They've now fallen into this very heavy five-man group up, and they're finding timings. We've seen them try and hit it over towards Halls, towards Rap side. Now they're doing it towards the B-bomb site. Zeus just gets back. And that Molotov, he actually chooses not to use it. They're going to swing in wide. He's going to try and set up the crossfire, spraying through the smoke. And, oh, simple! I think that was a double through the smoke, including the flashbang. What a time for that to happen for you. Oh, that's so disgusting. He might even try and wallbang it from inside of the church there. Yeah, he did for a second, but two versus four. Hitting a shot like that through the smoke, surely that's a round you win. Nexa. Hiding inside of that smoke. There's a huge gap being created right now. That's very interesting. And they're spraying through, trying to connect, and he's just trying to stay silent. He even has a Molotov. If it goes late enough in the round, if he doesn't go down from all this spray, that could work out. Now they're going to jump him. There's no chance any longer. He needed Otto to stay alive. A triple for Simple, but... Oh, man, I'm... Do we want to see the replay, Moses? Can we handle it? Is I know. It too much? That's the worst because uh, what a call for Crazy where it felt like they had the advantage and they found the perfect timing for it even before Zeus was able to get over and get comfortable. And then Simple lands that as just a stunner. Uh, such a heartbreaking way to drop around a double through the smoke. 
Now a small gap in there. Small gap in that, which is a bit of a mistake that allows another kill on the cross. So there were mistakes made from crazy, but still the double through the smoke is the yeah, it never feels good. No, you kind of know that that's Oop. probably the round right then. And he again, he's been he has been having a quiet game. Simple. That was obviously really good triple in that round, but that only puts him at ten. Yeah, it's his ninth and tenth kill of the game so far. However, if that's the start of him showing up to close, remember we saw Device as well against. Uh, I think it was was it against these guys? We had a very yeah, slow start, and he ended it so so strong. I think he had something. Yeah, he, he he started it very quiet, but picked it up right at the end. If Simple does that as well, it pretty much ensures a Navi victory. It feels like. Yeah, that now would be really be the time for it, wouldn't it? He's got the orb back in his hands, and Crazy have run out of money. A very good chance right now for Navi to even up the scoreline and make it 12-12 as we head into round number 24 here. Quick smoke there. Boomich. Ooh, ducking down, and he's going to get found. <laughs> oh, dear. Just, I guess, at a certain point, you just entrust your life to God and just start crawling back <laughs> as far as quick as possible. <laughs> just wishing that you could... Where is your God go now, only. Boomich? <laughs> Certainly not with him on that day. Zeus and the Arch, they do line up really nicely for him, and he'll take a quick triple. So whatever risk was taken there by Boomich seems to have been brought back now. Hunter's got a Krieg, though, and he actually just straight challenged Electronic and Pit. If he come out, if he had come out on top of that, they, they kind of come pretty close to even. 51 HP on Electronic, 41 on Hunter, and now if you're going to make this adjustment across the map, can't really slow down a whole lot, being as quiet as possible for as long as possible. Question is, do they walk in with contact or do they give it up with the far away smoke? Hunter going to lead the way. Smoke is going to be going down, so they definitely know. It's a real chance here. If they can get in, if they can protect this plant, if Flamey doesn't stop it, Simple's rotating over now and surely not again. I was going to say, but it's a bit risky for him this time because... Well, especially because we can tell Hunt is very close, so a fired shot from Simple probably get him killed at the moment. Bomb goes down. And Simple not firing that gun at the moment. Flamey on the other side, looking to see if maybe you could see anybody here. And Electronic also coming through. And no one's checking for Hunter. Simple not even posing like he will, but he does. That is some heads up play. That's what we want out of him. And he's still going to be going down, but Flamey's right there. Good teamwork and a good triple for Zeus in that round. If he hadn't checked that corner, that would have been scary. And it, it would have been so easy to not check that corner as well, because Flamey had already made it over towards construction, towards ruins. Yeah. He, was, he was waiting outside of the bomb site. Simple very easily could have walked into that trap. But fair play. The plant helps out massively with what plant crazy three kills, right? From. Yes. And a round where they brought, what, four pistols and a Krieg with no armor? Yeah. So that's... That's pretty sweet. That's not bad. Oh, the creek was picked up from Boomich, wasn't it? Oh, uh, that's right. So Good point. They just had pistols. Yeah, that's... I don't know. I have to say who's going to win right now. It's completely tied up. I think the economy might make the crucial difference. Simple. Just a blind shot as he's flashed. And now the grenade on top. Is he going to take one through the wall? He does like to do that. But no connection being made. And it's a three-way crossfire over at top mid in case Crazy want to try and show up there. Again, they've left one guy alone really far back on B. Trusting a lot, I would say, in the B retakes in that case. They've done this, like, I think, what, the like last three or four rounds? They've basically just kept one player here. And similar play coming up now from Crazy. That smoke has a gap in it on the left side from Flamey's perspective. Flamey's left, they're right. Yes. They might actually want to come through that. They might also just not want to mess with it whatsoever in case it's designed. Simple is rotated over as well. Well, they're going to smoke him off, but again, you can take a lot of shots. Oh, he's flashed as well. That's going to make a big difference. They smoke it up in the last second. Flamey with a huge defensive double kill. He's looking for more. He's tapping away inside of the smoke. He gets it as well. Taking down Ledney. That's a beautiful defense. When you're the only one on the bomb side, that's all you need. And I think Nexa took a bit of damage putting the bomb down there, but ultimately, they're still in a two on four. And now the flank comes in. No chance at all. Beautiful retake from Navi, and obviously Flamey the hero of this round. He's the hero, but so is the fact that Crazy threw that Molotov in his position very late. He'd already gotten two kills by the time that Molotov hit the ground and spread. Otherwise, that's forcing him into the open, forcing him into yeah. the fight that Crazy want to take. As it stands, they had to jump around his Molotov and take fights on his terms. 13-12 to 12 as they take the lead, and 
This is the wrong time for Crazy to allow Navi to go on this kind of a run. It's yeah. it's it's a bit wild though. Look at it. I mean, it's a five to one run for Navi, but four of those rounds have been plants. Yes. Crazy's actually doing a good job of getting into the bomb sites themselves. Yeah, all they need to do is convert one of these rounds and and start to build their own economy, shut down Navi's again, then they can still win it. Which is not a lot of rounds to do all that. Five remaining in the half. It's always scary to me when people play almost play retake on B Banana or B uh, Inferno. That's that seems to me like a a wild idea. Do you remember that one Liquid game with Astralis where Astralis got the B bombs out every time and Liquid just retook it? Like ten rounds in a row, just didn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> so it is possible to do it, but Yeah, it's just risky. Well, I think the nice thing for Navi that that they're you know playing with Flamey largely there sometimes all on his own is they're getting so many kills out of him before the bomb gets planted. Yeah. All of Navi is here at top mid. Boomich, Simple, and Electronic, all five kills between the three of them. Get out. And just two rounds away, Navi, from forcing map three, forcing us on to nuke. 14 and 12. And with that kind of a cleanup, with nobody going down, I mean, Navi's economy is not going to be threatened for quite a while. Crazy now picking up an AWB on auto. They've, they've got to put something together here. Nuke could be, well, a big question mark in some sense. We'll see. Boomich taking a peek. Doesn't really want to go into apartments like last time. Simple. Challenging that smoke. That's a really cool design, isn't it? Well, the 12 deep. Oh, let... Did, did he see it? Did he... What happened? He might have. Might have just gone for the... I think he just went for the timing. Just flicked it on timing. Just flicked it over. It's so quick regardless. Well, this is not going to work out. One player in pit, electronic. Here we go. Flashbang is out. There's one player in balcony as well. Look at that crossfire setup. So huge. Oh my god, they don't get anything done. Flamey, though. Flamey stepped up so much next to electronic in this game. He has been an absolute hero, and Simple's going to get the final kill. We were talking in these first two maps that electronic needs a teammate next to him, and Flamey has arrived. Yeah, those were some really beautiful taps, weren't they, up at the uh, up at the balcony there? You like to see it. Fifteen to twelve, ladies and gentlemen. One more round for Navi, and we get to go to map number three, which would be on Nuke. And I'm very excited about. It. I think crazy. I think especially starting this round, winning four in a row, they might have thought, yeah, you know what, we can actually do this. Maybe we are just a couple of rounds away from the playoffs, but now it's not looking like that at all. Their economy is not great. Now we have everything they could possibly want here. They need, well, they need a string of three miracles, more or less. Well, holding down the trigger, auto completely blinded. Molotov going to keep them back. Esperanto actually pushes forward into that. He wanted the fight. And that's exactly what Flamey was looking for. Him and Zeus combined for two kills at top banana. And with only two smokes and one flashbang, this three versus five does not seem likely at the moment. I don't know how you would find a way to do this. Utility, you're playing on a map like Inferno where forcing some of those fights, very hard to do. They sort of had the opportunity up here. I mean, Navi did give that to them. Zeus on the corner to take down Hunter. And now, yeah, I don't think there's any way to do this. F two versus five. Next up, trying to make a play on that one side. The flashbang, actually, that was from the other side and that flashed uh, simple as much as did anybody else. He's still waiting there with the Org, and next they're going to be walking right into the shot. He almost goes down. Now there's only 38 seconds. Going for the A-bomb side, it seems. But Boomich and Electronic have every advantage right now. It's so good as well that Flamey has, has stepped up to this level in this game, because yeah. now that puts Electronic at the A-bomb site and Flamey at the B-bomb site, both of them just playing, playing incredibly. There's no great option for Crazy. There really isn't. We'll see if they can walk out. Just Nexus is just so low, and Electronic can bide his time. And the freest of kills, two at the end, 16 to 12.